This AR right here is center fire, has all the features that you could want on it, and is legal in the state of California. With a simple modification, you could do the same thing to your AR. Today we're gonna to talk about it, but let's first just show you how it fires. We'll do some disclaimers. We'll talk about some pros. We'll talk about some cons and maybe some ways to set this up. But let's just sort of show you how this works. So, bolt is open. So you can see that that can be done pretty fast. Now you might've been wondering, why was it locking open on every round? Well, that's because of this product here. This is the Ashford Armament BRS. It is a replacement system for your bolt catch. If you have a threaded bolt catch, you just thread it out, put it in. If you have a roll pin bolt catch, you just hammer it out, hammer it back in. It takes only a couple minutes. Now, the bolt retention system by Ashford Armament. Let's talk about bias, disclosures, all that kind of thing. A couple years ago on Reddit, the owner, Trenton, I'm sorry if I forgot his name or mispronounced that, the owner posted about this product and an idea that he had for a compliance feature to allow you to use normal magazines and normal features on your AR. And a lot of people were very interested in it, myself included. They sent me out a prototype. Now this was at least two years ago. I'm pretty sure this was during the beginning of COVID. So it, this could have been several years ago at this point. They sent me out a prototype. Thought it was interesting, but I didn't feel like talking about it at the time, and they didn't really want me to talk about it a whole lot at the time because it was just a prototype. It was a concept. They weren't sure if they were going to be able to bring it to market. Fast forward a couple of years, they reach out to me and they say, Hey, we want you to, we would like you to do an ad read for this product if you're interested. I said yes, but after talking, I thought it might be a little bit more interesting and more fun for me to just kind of do a product demonstration video on this. The reason I felt comfortable doing that is because I think this product is incredibly niche. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to influence anyone to buy this that wouldn't already buy this. Let's talk about some of the cons first. Obviously, this gun is not semi-auto. It's not semi-auto, which to some people makes it a deal breaker. Totally fine. The main deal breaker that some people might have for the actual function of this gun is that there are two methods to engage this bolt retention system. As a right-handed shooter, you could go here, drop it, your finger is pretty close to the trigger. However, you're only really gonna be dropping this, I guess, if you're ready to fire that next round. So whether you choose to view that as a pro or a con, kind of up to you. Personally, I think that it would be a smarter, safer choice to engage this system with your thumb. Now you might be thinking, what if you just hold down on that lever with your thumb while you shoot? Well, let's show you. So if you just hold down on this lever while you're shooting, you see that it just locks open. Now, what do you have to do? Now the manufacturer says that you have to pull back on the charging handle in order to get it to release because it does have a disconnect system in it. What I've found though, is that if I go like that, then it allows it to close. So it still requires multiple actions. So you're not gonna get bolt lock on the last round because when it locks back, unless you know for a fact that that was the last round, you're gonna lose that. So is this viable in a defensive scenario? Personally, I wouldn't really use this as a defensive gun. Now, the fact that you have 30 rounds, yeah, this, this personally would probably be better than like a lever action or a pump action. The fact that it takes AR furniture and is a normal form factor is nice. Would I choose this over a featureless AR in the state of California for self-defense? No, I wouldn't. It's pretty simple. Um, would I choose this over a fixed magazine gun for personal protection? That gets a lot more difficult Depends on the fixed mag system. If you're using like a comp mag, this blows it out of the water. If you are using like an AR mag lock with the Gen 4 Kingpin, I think that question gets a little bit tougher, uh, but much more favored on the fixed mag side. However, let's do a quick little demonstration of how quickly I can fire 29-ish rounds out of this, and then I'll do 29-ish rounds out of a fixed mag system that requires multiple reloads to do the same thing. And we'll just kind of time it real quick. 
Wow, folks, why didn't you tell me I wasn't wearing my safety glasses? You didn't scream it at me. Why didn't you tell me? So we're gonna fire 29 rounds from this system here, and then we're gonna do it on a fixed mag and we're gonna time it. So I will just... This is the fixed magazine gun. Because of that, I am limited to 10 rounds per magazine. So I'm gonna have to reload twice. One of these reloads is gonna be done with this cross armory system, so I'll just be able to flip it around. The other one is gonna be coming out of my back pocket since eh, we'll do side front pocket. Because you have to reload more, in that very limited scenario where you are only worried about shooting as many rounds as possible, if you're gonna be doing it legally, that seems a little bit quicker. However, the first 10 rounds absolutely get out of this gun faster. So trying to be as objective as possible, in some scenarios, that wins out. In other scenarios, this wins out. I think ultimately you're gonna to have to make that choice for yourself. Personally, I wouldn't really use this for a defensive gun, but let's talk about the legalities, the uses, and some of the ways that I might set this up. So let's talk about why this is actually legal in the state of California for a rifle. Now, the rifle definition of an assault weapon, I'm gonna have it on screen just right over here, but I'm gonna read it to you. So there's three different types of categories that generally for a rifle would make something an assault weapon. The first one is the feature base, so it says, a semi-automatic center fire rifle that does not have a fixed magazine, but has any of the following. And it goes on to list those features. So first it needs to be all three of those classifiers. Center fire, this is, it does not have a fixed magazine. So it hits two of those, but the third one of semi-automatic, this is considered non-semi-automatic. Now this was reviewed by some very good lawyers. I am not a lawyer, this is not legal advice. So refer to them. Now that being said, systems like this have existed in the past, like the tracking point. However, that was like a $3,000 AR that you literally were only able to buy for maybe like six months of, of time back in like 2016. So not really an option for the average person. The Ashford is completely made in America, sourced with American made materials. Costs about 130, I think. I'm not entirely sure on that exact price, but it isn't cheap. However, it's cheaper than something like the Cali Key, which requires you to get a bolt carrier group and sacrifice it for it, or buy their combo system, which last time I checked was about 190. My opinions on these types of systems. I think these serve as a great role to allow people to shoot a gun that looks normal, feels normal, but maybe they only visit California every so often. Now, I think that this product, the BRS, would really shine with something like an arrow lower that has a threaded bolt catch pin instead of a roll pin, because I can see how getting a roll pin out every time you want to visit California or leave California and vice versa, I can see how that would get annoying. You're gonna have to keep more roll pins around because these aren't multi-use, they're not supposed to be multi-use, so you're gonna have to buy a couple of those. But I think that the system does a good job of allowing people to have options. Not everybody likes featureless, not everybody likes fixed magazine. Some people want the features, meaning the pistol grip and collapsible stock, but they also want to be able to use their legally acquired standard capacity magazines. And I think that's kind of where this role fits. The reason I think this does it better than the Cali Key is straight up speed. It's faster to use this gun than it is to pull back on the charging handle and shoot every single time. I shot 30 rounds with this, 29 rounds with this, faster than with a fixed magazine system and you are limited to 10 round magazines. Obviously, <laughs> whether you choose to follow any law is up to you. This is just for people that want to have the information. I just want people to have information so they can make the best choices possible for them. Do I foresee the Ashford armament beating out featureless on a widespread margin? No, not really. I think that this does have a market and people have asked for a very long time, why doesn't anyone just do X? And now people in the past, manufacturers in the past have basically made bad levers with a spring on the underside. But the problem is, is that since you can just hold down that lever, 
and shoot repeatedly, that would make it semi-auto in the eyes of the state. This allowing that disconnect system that requires you to let go in order to shoot, that kind of works within the actual law to provide a legal way for it to be an interrupted action. The action is interrupted. Every time you pull the trigger, you have to do something and then you can shoot again. So because the action is interrupted, this is a similar system that people use out in like Europe. I know it's very popular out there. I think there's like a VZ58 variant that you have to pull the trigger to fire, pull the trigger to drop the bolt, and then pull the trigger again. I think someone was telling me something about those, but I know that this system is popular in other countries where semi-autos are banned, but I think this does provide a good option for people that want it. If you're interested in this, let me know down in the comments. You guys know the drill, have fun, be safe, stay dangerous, peace. So I also forgot to mention that for pistols, this is the same thing. Since the pistol definitions of an assault weapon for section four and five both require that it be semi-automatic and this is not semi-automatic, those features don't apply. So you could have this in a pistol configuration as well as a rifle. I just set it up as a rifle because this is the gun that I had laying around that I was willing to do this to um, for the purpose of demonstrating this video. I'm probably gonna keep it like this because Really, this gun is just a range toy. Um, the fact that the EOTech has now died on me twice um, in two range trips in a row is a little bit annoying. The batteries, for whatever reason, um, are not properly making contact. I might need to open this up again and like stretch out the spring or send it back, but that's just a topic for another day, I guess.